Knock, knock. Jim, don't do it. Don't do it. If you value our partnership, don't do it. We've been putting it in together for nine do it. years. Don't do it, Jim. Do it. Jim, don't, don't do it, Jim. Do it. Do it. Why'd you do it, Jim? Why? Why? To humiliate me? What's up guys, Sal here. So smartphone companies have a history of copying things from each other. Apple copies features from Android and Android companies do the same. However, Android OEMs also have a history of copying bad things from Apple, such as that dreaded notch, removing key features like the headphone jack, micro SD cards, and even essential components like headphones and chargers. But in the midst of all these Android companies, one company stood apart all these years, and that's Sony. They refused to follow trends and decided to follow their consumers instead. So they said no to notches and punch holes, they continued providing basic and essential features such as headphone jack, micro SD card slot and more. But in a surprising turn of events, Sony could be joining this no charger club soon when it launches its new phone, the Xperia 1 Mark IV in a few days on May 11th. This news is coming from Weibo from this user who has a good track record that Sony has also decided to follow Apple, Samsung and others in removing this key accessory from the box. Why that and why? This why? is business. This is my sweat. I know, but I did business. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> this is business. Even though I'm sure Sony is going to mention that they're doing this to make the process more environmentally friendly, but we all know it's an additional stream of revenue. So far, Apple saved or made $6.5 billion just by removing the charger, so it's no wonder why even a company like Sony wants to hop on this bandwagon. Moving on, we also have other information about the Xperia 1 Mark IV starting with the camera. Sony will upgrade the front camera from 8 megapixels on the Mark III to 12 megapixels on the Xperia 1 Mark IV. The rear camera will get an upgrade as well. It will feature the quad camera setup with two telephoto cameras, but Sony is using a bigger 48 megapixel sensor with 1 by 1.28 inches of size for all the three cameras, which is a big improvement over a 12 megapixel triple camera system on the Xperia 1 Mark III. The battery is getting an upgrade as well to 5000 mAh from 4500 on its predecessor. The battery will apparently support 33 watt charging too. Other information includes 256 and 512 gigs of storage versions, 12 and 16 gigs of RAM, 4K 120Hz OLED, front stereo speakers, headphone jack, micro SD card slot, and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. Sony will launch the phone on May 11th. Of course, be sure to subscribe for all the latest updates on this handset. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.